on the Stern Jesus Show. Our nation stands on the brink. Every day brings new federal encroachments that take our freedoms and strangle our will. There comes a time when the silliness must take a back seat to the serious issues of the day. The time is now. It's time to fight back and reclaim the freedom that is rightfully ours. It is time to discuss the serious issues of the day with Stoner Jesus' Pothead Punditry. Indeed, Potted Penetry, episode 25, on the Sterner Jesus Show. We talk about the serious issues of the day. Tonight we're talking about weed news. We get our weed news exclusively from the 420times.com. If you're listening to this, or wherever you're listening to this, on SternerJesus.net or on podcast later, share it. Also, if you're listening on YouTube, where we put these political segments, there's a link to our YouTube on SternerJesus.net. Share it with all of your social networking people go to our other videos there were eight hours of me talking about politics and whatnot on the youtube channel tonight uh 420times.com the 420times.com as i said marijuana news activists shred dea dea document that says marijuana has no additional value there's a video on here there was um thursday there was a national day of protest in six states over obama's federal medical marijuana crackdown in this uh, post article whatever there's a video of a speech that the medical marijuana activist made in New Jersey and then shredding the document the DEA document that says marijuana has no medicinal value which we all know to be incredibly false there's been many many studies on the cannabis plant the government itself um, still gives medical marijuana to four people who are still living, and they have given patents on the cannabis plant to big pharmaceutical companies to make so-called medicines from the plant, which there's there's no need to make medicine from marijuana, the marijuana plant. It is medicine. There's no need to do anything to it. Just grow quality medicine. Higher in CBD if that's what you need, higher in THC if that's what you need, whatever. There's a lot of ways to uh to do it anyway um another story on here on the 420times.com an update on the boy whose dad gave him cannabis on the show weed wars watchers of the reality show weed wars surely remember the story of jason and his son Jaden. the article says his young child stricken with epilepsy jason tried a myriad of treatments for Jaden, but nothing helped at his wit's end jason considered an option alien to him medical marijuana in the latest newsletter from Harborside Health Center, which is the subject of the reality show Weed Wars, there's an update on Jaden's condition. Now, according to the uh, the email newsletter, it works well. Uh, the results vary from well to inconsistent. When the results results are excellent, Jaden has 90% fewer seizures that are also less severe. But there's some inconsistencies because the glycerin-based tincture that they use doesn't have a high enough concentration of CBD which is what helps Jaden's epilepsy and they don't want to give him an alcohol based tincture for obvious reasons so uh, but it's doing what it can do and the, um, it's just you know it's another reason as the article points out there's a lot more um, research and innovation that needs to happen in medical marijuana to uh, address problems just like this and they can only be allowed if the federal government allows it to happen uh, whether or not they will uh, probably not anytime soon but hopefully at some point the federal government will back off uh, at least from making marijuana schedule one and allow progress to move forward in medical marijuana another uh, article on here dealing with our our endorsed candidate the Stoner Jesus Show endorsed candidate for President of the United States Ron Paul 
From Vancouver, Washington, Republican presidential candidate Ron Paul decried the war on drugs Thursday night, telling supporters in Washington State that people should be able to make their own decisions on such matters. Voters in Washington are likely to decide this year whether to legalize the recreational use of marijuana. If we are allowed to deal with our eternity and all that we believe in spiritually, and if we're allowed to read any book we want under a freedom of speech, why is it we can't put into our body whatever we want? Paul told more than 1,000 people at a rally in Vancouver, a suburb of Portland, Oregon. I guess it's a suburb of Portland. It's in Washington. I don't know. It's an AP story. Um, Paul did not mention his rivals for Republican nomination, but criticized President Barack Obama for killing American citizens with suspected terrorist ties and for expanding federal regulations. There's also a reader poll result on the 420times.com about Big Pharma, as I was just talking about, Big Pharmaceutical Companies getting involved in cannabis. Uh, 4% said they considered Big Pharma getting into cannabis industry a good thing, while 39% said it could be a mixture of both. A majority of 57% classified the situation as a bad thing. While not surprising, the article says the results are quite sad. Pharmaceutical companies have the amazing power to heal people, yet they use their power to experiment on people with the help of their cronies in the FDA and lay waste to the health of the masses. Many think Big Pharma will gain a monopoly in cannabis cultivation and distribution and alter this amazing plant to make it more profitable and even make it addictive, which is a very real possibility. Advocates launched patient voter project in the presidential swing state of Colorado. Colorado is going to be a key swing state in this year's presidential election. And it's a state that President Obama won by almost 9% in 2008, a margin of roughly 215,000 votes. It's also a state he very well may need to win re-election in November. But it's also a state that has been targeted in the new federal medical marijuana crackdown. A poll released last December showed 68% of favored Colorado's existing medical marijuana law. So how can Obama possibly gain voters by hitting the state's medical marijuana industry? The group Sensible Colorado has lost what they call a patient voter project. So basically, well, uh, you can sign up for alerts, and they will send you alerts about what's going on in Colorado as far as uh, the federal crackdown. The crackdown in Colorado, as the article points out, is likely to follow the same path as it is in California. Uh, where threats have been backed up by raids and massive closings of dispensaries throughout the state of California. The same is likely to happen in Colorado. Last story we'll do tonight in Pothead Punditry, Weed News. Polish activists light up in bid to legalize pot. A prominent Polish politician and several activists smoked what they said was marijuana in front of Parliament Friday as part of a campaign to liberalize the count, the country's drug laws. With police looking on, Janusz Palakot, the head of the left-wing party Palakot's movement, and several other people took puffs from joints as the snow fell. Dozens more gathered around the platform where they smoked and chanted, grow it, smoke it, legalize it. Police officer Mesij Karzinski said that three people had been arrested for possession of herb before the demonstration started, and the substance was being tested to see if it was a narcotic. Karzinski said police were not convinced that what the activists smoked was really marijuana, but one of the demonstration's leaders, Matuz Klinowski, insisted that it was. The bottom line is marijuana legalization is sweeping the world. It's inevitable in this country, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. They can delay it all they want, and big pharmaceutical companies can throw all the money that they want. And alcohol companies can spend all the money they want trying to keep cannabis illegal. So there's not a major competition to them, which it would destroy the alcohol industry and the pharmaceutical industry by replacing those substances on a recreational and medical level. And that is not something that can be tolerated by the big alcohol and big pharmaceutical companies. That was Pothead Penetry episode 25, a little look into the world of cannabis in this episode.